Hello, my friends, and I'm your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl, welcoming you into 2020, the year of clear vision. Now, to have a clear vision, I wanted to share with you some tools that I use to help me to clear throughout my daily life. These can be what I like to call your clearing toolbox things that you can have access to when you need it. So we can hit, get hit with toxins on a physical level, right? From things we ingest or breathe in, we get toxins on a mental level, whether they're belief systems that aren't ours, that maybe we heard from family members or uh, self-sabotaging thoughts. We can get hit from those toxins on an emotional level. We feel like we're holding on to other people's pain because we care so much or we're dealing with unresolved grief, trauma, or unforgiveness, and then on a deep soul level, we can just feel disconnected in many ways where most people say is what pure and other loneliness is. Well, when we can clear heavy energy, it can help us to feel more at home in all of these areas. So I wanted to share with you quickly my toolkit, and I would love for all of you to get clear on what your toolkit is to clear for 2020. This is the year of clear vision. So we got to clear out anything that might be blinding our vision, right? So first step, I love to have a set of cards. Now, some people love oracle cards or things like that. I love gentle message cards, and these are just affirmation cards. This is one of my favorite new decks. It's called How to Love Yourself, and it's a really gentle yet powerful message on the front, and then it goes deeper into explanation on the back. Now, to clear cards so that if somebody else has used them or you want to clear before you buy, I just like to, on the um, edge of my table, hit each end and then knocking and it helps clear the cards. Now, what I do is I just shuffle and I tell the deck to share with me a message. It's a really great thing to do. For those of you that love connecting with the cycles of the moon, I love to pull cards on a new moon and a full moon. And also, it can just be a daily ritual. Isn't it amazing to get an affirmation right at the beginning of the day to clear out anything that might have been feeling stuck while you were sleeping? It's also a great way to fall asleep at night so that you're clearing your day. Now, speaking of that, if you are a showerer, you can do either of these strategies, whether you're an AM or a PM, but I want you to really hold the space when you are taking a shower or you're taking a bath that that water is cleansing you and clearing you. It's washing away your day. It's washing away any of those bad dreams, washing away anything somebody attached to you. Now, if you're somebody that showers in the morning, but you feel really heavy when you get home, I recommend that you shower before you go to bed. It really does clear your energy. Now, another thing that I love to have to be uh, clear, friendly, and ready for anything is a journal. So finding a journal, and you can separate journals. You can have one journal for other things, and this can just be your clearing emotional journal. Um, this is my, my emotional clearing journal, um, and I have a separate one where I create steps to stay in integrity with myself and many other things. But I recommend you have something on a piece of paper. It's way more powerful than the digital. Then if you love crystals and gems, these are really powerful things to just have. Some women like to carry them right in their bra. Some women um, carry them as jewelry. Some keep them in their purse. Uh, some keep them in their pockets. But these can be a really great tool because when you have it on you, it really does affect your energy, but it also can help to clear your thoughts, I find a lot. Now, for those of you that love smudging, um, I love to have, this is my bowl, and I um, use sage and then palo santo, which is those little wooden sticks, and I clear my space all the time. Sage has actually been shown to really clear the air as well, so it's a really great thing to do aromatically for your home and then energetically as well. And then I keep my arsenal of oils with me all the time. Now, you know that I am an oil nerd, and I love them, love them, love them, but I love to have ones on me at all times. And now what I did is I found the oils that really support me, and I put them in these easier forms to take with me. And I found the oils that support me from a physical, I deal with my immunity, my digestion, maybe muscle pain. I have oils in here for mental, if I'm feeling tired or fatigued or fluggish or fluggish, fatigued and sluggish together. That's my new word. 
I also have ones here emotionally. If I'm getting overwhelmed throughout the day or I'm just feeling down that day, I want to have oils for that on my hands with me. And then on a soul level, if I just feel like I need to get more connected, I have all of those oils in here. And I encourage you to figure out what your oil arsenal kit is that you can take with you throughout the day on all of those levels. Now, these are some basic things that I share with you to start to create this releasing clearing toolkit. I encourage you to come up with your own and I'm here to support you if you need it. As I mentioned, we have the cards. You want to do the showering or the water cleansing. Your journal, anything to use with crystals, clearing with smudging, and your arsenal of oils. I would love to see any new ones you have and share with the tribe. And for those of you that want to use these toolkits in a fantastic, powerful, and easy form, we are joining for my 21-day stress detox program starting very soon. It's on the 20th of January, and it is a powerful experience that is easy and effective to clear the toxins from your physical, mental, emotional, and even down to your soul level so you can step into your authentic identity. The world needs us now to be in our light and clear out whatever stuff we got to deal with because we all deserve to live a life we love unapologetically. And by you doing that, clearing out, honoring yourself with this 21 day stress detox and with your clearing toolkit, you show other people in your life that it is possible. What I like to say, you're turning the impossible into I am possible. And you are possible to live a life you love. I am Tracy, your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl, and I am excited to be with you on clearing toxins and stepping into your light in 2020. Be well.